What we're going to look at today here first off is the Thesis Simple Feature Box plugin. And basically what this plugin does is it either widgetizes the feature box or it adds one of three common plugins to the feature box. And those common plugins are either the Dynamic Content Gallery, SH Slideshow, or the Next Gen Gallery. So before we take a look at any of that, we're going to just install the plugin first. And we're going to install it here on this site that I'm using to demonstrate stuff. And so from the dashboard, we'll go over to Plugins and Add New. Now you have to have started off by downloading this plugin directly from the website first, but once you've downloaded it to your computer, then you can just upload, choose a file, and then go to the place where you stored that. And for me, that's right here. Yeah, once you've uploaded it, you simply activate the plugin, and the plugin is now ready to go. If this is the first of my plugins that you've installed, you'll see this BYOB Thesis Plugins uh, menu here. If you have other Thesis Plugins installed, then what will happen is it'll just join those. So, for example, here we are, Simple Feature Box. Click on it, and it'll come up here in just a moment. Okay, so. What we have here is the first thing that you end up deciding is whether or not you want to widgetize the feature box or you're going to use a common plugin. It's one of those two options. And so you, to widgetize the feature box, you simply click Widgetize. And if you don't want to widgetize the feature box, but you want to use one of these plugins, then you're going to end up selecting the plugin that you want to use. For the, for the time being, right now, we're going to say widgetize the feature box. And if you've checked this and one of these, only the, the widgetize feature box will take precedence and all the rest of this will be ignored. So if you've decided to use a plugin, make sure that you uncheck widgetize the feature box because that's going to take the precedence. If we hit save to this, we've now widgetized the feature box. Okay, so having said that, one of the first things you need to do in order to see this feature box is you need to set the options for the feature box in Thesis Design Options. So if we come over to Thesis Design Options and come down here to the feature box, under Placement, you can choose where you want it placed, and then you can choose what pages you want it placed on. Now your choices for where you want it placed are first, do not use a feature box, which of course you're not going to select if you are using my plugin because it won't display. Or you can choose to place it in your content column and in your content column it's going to end up, this is the content column, so it's going to end up above the content column and beside the sidebars. Your next choice is full width above the content and the sidebars. And obviously that means it would be above the content and it would span the entire distance instead of the width of the content. And your third choice is above the header, which again would span the full width of the page and would be up here above the header. So those are your three choices. We're going to use in your content column. And then once you've chosen its location, now you can choose which page it should display on, whether it should be on your front page, on your blog page only, on both your front and blog pages, or everywhere. Now, if you're displaying it on your front page only, that is the static front page of your site. If you are displaying it on your blog page only, that's your posts page of your site. And if you're displaying it on both of them, then it's on both your front page and your posts page. Now, if you have in your content column selected, then you have a choice of where you want it to go, whether you want it to be above all of the posts, or you want it to be above post number one, or actually you want it to be below post number one, or you want it to be below post number two. In this case, we're going to place it above all of the posts. Now, if you had selected full width above content and sidebars, you wouldn't have that same choice. 
And had you had selected do not use the feature box, you wouldn't have had either of those choices. So anyway, in your content column above all posts. So you have to set those display options first. And then the trick is to understand what happens when you widgetize the feature box. If we come over here right now and refresh this, this is our posts page. And by widgetizing the feature box, what we have done is we have created this widget area. If we come over to our widgets uh, menu under appearance and widgets, you can see that what has happened is we have a new widget area called feature box widgets, which has been created for us. If we were to use the dynamic content gallery or some other sidebar, I mean some other plugin instead, this feature box widgets sidebar would go away. Now uh, you notice that it's under the sidebars section here and it's just important to recognize that WordPress calls a sidebar anything that can handle widgets. It's a holdover from early language where WordPress, where a WordPress sidebar was a section of the site that was beside the content and then WordPress came up with this idea of widgets and so then widgets originally went in the sidebar. Now that's sort of an obsolete term and what we should really use is just widgetized area because the widget a sidebar no longer suggests that it's on the side. A sidebar can be anywhere in a post or a page and if you've seen any of my other plugins of course you've seen that we have uh, that I create these widgetized areas or sidebars virtually anywhere in a WordPress post or page. So the sidebar no longer suggests a location. It just suggests the functionality, which is you can drag and drop widgets into that area. So I use the term widgetized area, and that's what this is. Feature box widgets is that widget area that has been created.